Yeah. It is. Wow. So, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Ever heard of Blizzard TD? Well, this is called Hold the Line. So, starting off similar with the Glaive and the Boulder Tower. Are the buildings the same? They look the same for the most part, except maybe heroes are different. Currently no longer built. Gromash. Sue. I'm going to upgrade the Glaive Tower. Remember, there used to be like a little trick to try to get the first hero by like level 3 or something. So, Frull. He's got Skritical Strike. Cairn Bloodhoof is a different hero. No, actually. Cairn Bloodhoof looks like... Um, he looks like the Keeper of the Grove. Except he'd be melee, right? Because he's got the elemental force of nature. And crit, which is what the Keeper of the Grove had in the original Blizzard TD. Gul'dan, Doom. That could be powerful, because if that gets... If that's the ultimate... Mm, it's got Death and Decay, I don't know. And Gromash. Orc Flag, Critical Strike, and Death and Decay. Weird, weird, weird. Fol'jin, Critical Strike, Serpent Ward. Frost Nova. Ooh. Leaning towards Fol'jin. My boy. Otherwise, everything else kind of looks very much like Blizzard TD. So, next wave is going to be stronger. So, you're going to need a bit more than that cleave. I don't know if you want to go... What have... They got 11 health. This is 9 to 11 damage. So, if you did one more upgrade, that should definitely one-shot them. 12 damage minimum. So the question is, is can I kill them all before they reach the next point? If not, then I might have to invest. Yeah, the price not going to be good. There's a lot of them coming through, so I'm going to have to upgrade another tower here, probably. Okay, we'll have to invest in this one then. See if that's good enough to do the job for the last few. Just being stingy. So over here, you got the shop. Ass Assassin's Blade, Lightning Boots. That seems like a different item. Mass Damage Tower, the Area Effect Tower, Summonable Tower. So they changed it to have different waves? Because these are different mobs that you fight against compared to the original Blizzard TD. It's very similar, but it's also quite different. It's orcs versus humans, basically. There's the stats. The intelligence is 10 gold for plus. It says 2 gold per intelligence. Strength is really, really cheap. Maybe can could be good then. Oh, his agility. For all his strength in this... The agility does give you the quicker attack speed there. Oh, this wave is invisible. Yeah, I think you need to be playing in Reforged graphics. So, hopefully, some of these waves don't show. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> you can't make me play Reforged graphics. Surely not. I think I'm just going to have to keep investing because this wave looks tough. I'm not even sure. This will be enough to clear them. I can't tell how much health they have left. You can't target them. Okay, we've made it. Do we get enough gold? And if we do, do I go for that strength hero for mass plus 5 strengths? Or the agility is only plus 3 and it's 20 gold. It's a lot. Oh, I don't know where to just go strengthy boy. Or do I suck it up and get my Fulgin? I get my Fulgin. I like my Fulgin. I'm going to sell that and get my Fulgin. How long does it take to get a hero? Not long. That's good. I think you're supposed to play this map in Reforged. 
Right, start off with a... <laughs> So that Serpent Ward is doing more damage than my Glaive. But of course the Glaive is multi-shot. Still, this is only 30 mana. So I think Tome of Intelligence could be a good pick as well, actually. But I will sort of OCD it and do Agility. It's got 800 range. I can't imagine Grom having the range, even though he'd be a better auto-attacker, I think. Then falls in. Although it does say he's got fast attack, so it might just be a fixed amount rather than the default Shadow Hunter amount. Right. Twenty-seven to forty-one damage. There are some that use the reforged graphics. Some heathens. I'm one-shotting these mobs at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I changed my chat to all. If I make it to the end, thumbs up the video. <laughs> But thumbs it up now, before I make it to the end. Looks like Thrall is what Legolas has gone for. Because you can buy much cheaper Tome of Strength. Plus 5 for 5, so it's 1 gold per Tome. This is 2 gold per Tome. And this is, what, it's like freaking 7 gold per Tome, basically? So agility is, uh, it hates you. I don't know if they've all got a 30 second cooldown though, because I remember they, they have a fairly long cooldown, so eventually you can't sort of buy them too efficiently. Assassin's Blade would probably be worth it just for the 40 damage, it's more than the agility gives. So you probably want to buy the items first. If you get the item that gives you an increased attack speed, then the strength hero could be better. But then again, this guy's got Serpent Wards, and I like Serpent Wards. Everyone likes Serpent Wards. I'm a little bit guilty when it comes to trying to pimp out my hero in these kind of maps. However, you often are worth just going for the death towers, because those are the big boys. The engineer has useful stuff like the cold towers. The first builder doesn't build much of anything useful, although poison tower does work. And Booster Tower actually works, but you've got to research those two. Poison and Booster. Item near the gate. Clarity Potion. Oh, we're in business now. Can sell that bad boy for five gold. Still wonder whether I should buy some Tones of Intelligence, just so I can have some natural mana regeneration. Because eventually I'm going to go through my... Uh... I, can't, I can't feel like these Tones of Agility are definitely worth it. I am a sucker for building up my hero, though. This looks like a tougher wave. Suddenly, a bit of a power spike wave. Will I be good enough? I doubt it. I'll be salty if I lose. I can't get the dagger. Might get the Helm of Battle first, actually. 60 gold. Just a quicker attack. Yeah, you can sell items. See, why am I buying those if it's 60 gold? 
I'm going to get plus 10 to all stats. I really shouldn't be doing that. I need to stop buying this silly 20 gold agilities. It's just going to bite me in the bar. <laughs> Basically wasted gold. I just remember the old school day of me doing the Blizzard TD and getting Keep of the Grove only and trying to beat it that way. Yeah, Thrall feels nice. Does he feel nice? Does it feel nice to have a Thrall? It's got 84 damage on that one. I'll research the poison and the booster tower. Use the boost to get through. Research complete. We'll have a poison tower on each spot. Research complete. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put the booster tower. It depends what the range of the booster tower is. Time of knowledge plus two. <laughs> Ooh. Getting excited now, are we? Make sure you hit the Zeppelins first so they drop the units. Still, the good thing about the hero is the power of the IR. The power of this business. That increases stats by 10. So, again, that's kind of like buying a tome. That's 20 gold there. Or more damage and just. I don't know, is that worth it? 40 damage. This one's 40 damage and it's slow for no stats. I think only the Helm of Battle first is really worth it. Run and shoot faster also increases the mana by 100. I don't know what that means exactly. Run faster, maybe. Shoot for Oh, it's attack speed, I guess. Makes me wonder if, even though you only get one use out of this effect, it's plus 10 to all stats for 60 gold. Nah, it doesn't seem worth it. Just get one of those and then just buy the rest of intelligence if you need to keep mana going. He's dropping little presents, little invisible presents. I'm going to leave him be because I can kill those. And I get some experience off of those. Choo choo. Manipulate the system. Mana stones. Stack those up. Gotta get more poison towers. Build one in each corner, probably. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Start considering the engineer. Oh no. Oh no. Use my power. Okay. I can't select it. True. Idle builders. Okay, we got it. We're Kata. This level's a bit tougher, isn't it? Right. There he is. 
So that's slow area of effect. Don't we want the cold tower though? It's a cold tower upgrade. Probably sell this. That's a weird clunky thing, that cold tower. Cold Tower's kind of got like a bit of an AoE slow anyway, I think. Getting by. Hero Towers. Have I got any crits, actually? I'm not sure if I've seen any crits. He crits, does he, Mon? Yispos. in your crit. Kartov, you're out. What happened? Oh, you kept building all the trash towers. You thought maybe mass tier 1 towers is going to be the key. I think you've got a tech... They can't be good towers if you're leaking. I can get hero towers in this, but I don't think I need to get those yet. Just get the coal towers set up. That's the main thing. Set up the bad boy coal towers. Oh, they got a blinker. like first leak probably not yet I guess circlet of win circlet gives plus 15 damage oh intelligence by 15 that's quite a bit actually Try to save up for the expert engineer, but you've got to get 300 gold for that, so you're probably going to leak before you get there. So I don't know. What else can I build there? don't really like much of anything. And I really don't want to put the booster tower down until I understand what I'm doing. Maybe I can do the booster tower here or something, so it's more likely to affect me closer to here. everything. Effectively has no aura currently. It's only 5 gold for minus 2 armor there. 
You could do the cheap ones until I know what I'm dealing with. Just do a, like, a small money in that. Not sure how close it needs to be built to the edge. For all his bay. He's got a lot of damage on Thrall. He's optimizing the power gloves. I think you're going to get yourself in a bit of a pickle late, later on, though. Towers should beat heroes still. can upgrade the poison towers, but I don't think you need to do that. It just probably increases their damage, but not the effect of this poison itself. Yes. It should do. So that's one way to clear the trees with Thrall. This guy's got flame strike, so he can kind of do the same. Hero needs damage. Nah, his serpent wars are doing more damage than me. Uh, I was just 20 gold for plus 3 damage, or 60 gold for plus 40 damage. Right. Bunch of air. Scumbag air. I think the large zeppelins could be a bit of a problem. 21 gold. Just need 121 gold. Well, that's just to research the... Uh, just to get the expert engineer. It's going to cost some gold for the uh, towers themselves. I saw a crit there. I suppose with the crit, the damage is better, isn't it? But still, it's like, it doesn't really work because you can't up your damage that much. You can do it with Thrall because the tomes of strength are like, cost nothing. Sneaky crate business going on there. True shot aura, but that won't work on towers. Just me. Two hundred thirty gold. I'm getting there very slowly. Test destroying the crates of truth.
the flame strike now. That will save me. I don't think flame strike do much against air though. Might build like one cold tower. You can't really build over here. Do a cold tower. Oh, if you did a flame strike there. Yeah, fuck it. Hmm, never mind. Can't find it. What I'm looking for. Good thing the Zeppelins are chunky. Don't know if I'm going to be able to clear all of these. No, nah, some of them are getting through. Probably could have. No, nah, I don't know. I probably could have done that if I managed to find the coal tower when I wanted to find it, but it got a bit scuffed. I figured if you block or slow down one side. So the other side goes through quicker. Right. Nah, I'm not going to remake. I don't need a 100% win rate on this. Already got 100% win rate from Blizzard TD. Oh, I can't attack those crates with that. Can't take this too seriously because I can't see fucking the health of the mobs a lot of the time, so I can't make proper judgment calls. This guy's well easy. What's his deal? Oh, I see. Another invisible mob. <laughs> yeah, slow and poison. You want anything that can slow these buggers down. And then you save up for the big stuff. And you should be fine. The dwarven carts, I can see. I think it's the long range one. The short range one is like got crit and kind of stuff, but it's so short range that it's generally not worth it. The long range ones are always popping off. What do you want? Yes. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Hey, I can see this builder. Yeah, Death Tower and Assassination Tower. Oh, might be um Assassination actually. It says it's slow firing bolts with long range. So it should be those ones. Power gloves! No, I don't need those. My hero's not worth it. Unless he's got Maybelline. Also, I'm going to take some damage here. Only crying. Is Death Tower invisible? I don't know. This looks like I'm going to leak. Garifoss is too strong. Oh, he's got invo. Of course he does. It's not staying slowed for long. Come on, just kill Garifoss if nothing else. Kill Garifoss, kill Garifoss, kill Garifoss, kill Garifoss. Yay, I win. I'll take it. I'll take a Garifoss kill. Man, I... I'm really in trouble now. That's because I haven't really spent any money. Well, I have, but, you know, not effectively. I've got 13 seconds to another flame strike. Also, hang on a second. We drop these two. We drop those two. 
pick up all these trash items and then sell those probably. Re with no leaks. Maybe in a future video. If, I, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll remake it and do it with zero leaks. Right. Hang on a second. Is that level 7? Nope. Oh shit, now there's a Mountain King. No chance. So we need the Ass Assassination Towers. Oh, the Mountain King's not as bad as Garifoss. Don't go Assassin. Why not? You can't level it. Mm. Maybe. Looks like I'm going to have to pick my champions who I want to kill here. Because I'm not going to kill all of these. So just go for the squishiest ones. Alright. There might be a way... I've got another flame strike coming. Behold, the ultimate size of that flame strike. Yeah, you can't click the tower, unfortunately. You just have to have mass level 1 versions then, I guess. Do they even attack? And maybe they got invisible projectiles as well. Normally you see a death coil come out of them. Are they actually doing anything? These are losing health, so I reckon maybe. Something's hitting those. I think it could be doing it. Yeah, I hear archers. Archer effects. I think they do attack. Because something's doing damage to them more than what I'm putting out. Hey, you got a death tower. These are my death towers. How could you got... What the fuck? Why can your death towers be seen? Oh, right. Yeah, that's it. I keep thinking they're Death Towers, but... No, it should still be the assassination ones. You want the long-range ones. Trust. You need assassins. Ass. Trust in ass. Ass will always get it done. Dark Mega's Rage quit. We've got more invisible mobs coming now. Snakes are doing something. Yes, that's why I like Fulgin. They get crit and bash. And splash, apparently. But I'm not sure if they truly will get those effects. Or whether the tooltip just says they do. No skydivers in chat. Anyone done skydiving in the UK yet? We're halfway there, pretty much. Admiral Pradmore. I'm going to have to bring up my video again now. A little bonus for you guys. I won't watch the whole thing. We are very this is excited to an official video. In addition to the ranks of brawlers and heroes of the storm, known as Admiral Proudmore. Hailing from the Warcraft universe, he will be playable as an assassin. To give you a bit of background story on Admiral Proudmore, he was a hero of the Alliance and commander of the naval forces of Therimore, who fought the Horde with extreme hatred and prejudice. His passion for spilling orc blood 
led to his ultimate demise at the hands of Rexar the Beastmaster. His daughter, Jaina Proudmore, mourning the loss of her father, sought out the dark magic of the Necromancer and requested his aid to resurrect her father. Afraid her father would turn, but determined to give him a second chance for redemption, Jaina pushed aside her fears and brought her father back to life. He turned, just not into the undead. A high failure. Admiral Proudmore will play as a melee assassin, adept at blowing away enemy heroes who stray away too far from the group. <laughs> his abilities are based around his character in Warcraft 3. We got his cure ability, Backstab, where he will stab a target with his cutlass for heavy damage. This a That's an official hero, look. Look at him, he's about to use the ability. ability will also do a heavy additional bleed. It's a shame Blizzard didn't put that hero in the game. One of those April Fools, I guess. I think you can get a booster tower in the middle here. I think booster can probably go, if I remember right, it's one of these kind of things where it's like six, three towers below and three towers above sort of thing. So I should be able to do another one of these. Just keep using the flame strikes to get rid of the trees. <laughs> His abilities! <laughs> Poor Sam. <laughs> Sorry, I put that voice on him. <laughs> Here at Blizzard, he'll be playable as an assassin. Rexar the Beastmaster. I can mimic that guy's voice pretty well. I laugh at the most unfunny shit you can think of. Give me an example. Are you not entertained? <laughs> what am I supposed to be admiring? Use the boost to get through. I don't see your boost. He's here. Yeah. He's not boosting anything, though. He's not boosting much. Here's a bell, You can't think of one at the moment. What are you, a YouTube comment? Hmm. Okay, let's do that there. Shame I can't see these gorgeous archer towers. Sansil's got weird stuff. He's gone with water and glaives. What was he We're even complete. thinking? Madman. You have to embrace the ass ass in towers if you want to succeed in this map. Now we got level five serpent wards. So you can click on it. It doesn't show like it's got crit or splash or whatever, but you just assume it does. Basically, use that ability on cool. Oh, I cut it off. Damn it. I was a millisecond off of... Never mind. See? That came up with miss there. So you know these are actually attacking. Look for the invisible misses. Be my next big death. You can actually steal kills. Yeah, oh, maybe not then. Right. Plus three. That is actually just free, so that's not worth it. Sobe Mask, yeah. I guess you didn't need to buy those intelligence things, because eventually you get stats anyway. I'm going to upgrade. The boost, you don't need to do minus armor and that, because I don't think that's going to reach. But you got to do, like, uh, the auras for the towers. Hmm. I 
don't think there's any invisible wires. Shame I can't click these towers to see if they're getting the buff or not, but I'm going to assume they are. <laughs> yeah, how's Thrall working out for you? It's got to have some pretty big damage at this point. I assume you're just buying this Tome of Strength on cooldown as well. Yeah, you got the power of battle first. Inventory is full. So I've got damage and haste. But you need to have like a booster here. 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 To slow down the mobs and put minus armor on them. It's a crippling aura. Slow aura. And then you don't need those two there. You just want these getting it. And they probably are getting it. I mean, I can always build like a glaive tower or something just to see if it reaches. Big damage. Glaive tower doesn't have the buff from here. But, hmm, where's the range? Maybe it's shorter range than I thought it was. Let's build a bunch of glaive towers then. It must reach. Maybe they nerfed it. Oh, you can see the buff on that one. So it's like one, two above. Even this one's got it. So if you calculate as ass in tower, so one, two, basically two and a bit. So one, two, so two and a bit. This should, in theory, have the buff. This one might not, but this one should do, and so should this one, and then all of those, and that, and those. So yeah, I think that is about right. Hmm. Kind of regret building it there now. Oh well, that's fine, whatever. My OCD is buggered, because this isn't built right to the side. This is the sort of thing soap would do. Wow, that was mega easy. Plus 15. Or 6 agility, XD. Probably get rid of the six agility one now. Or the flat int. Sobe mask is fine for now, for now. As long as I got good intelligence. Is it possible to get Donald Trump to do a voiceover for the uh, narrator in Warcraft 3? More gold is required. Need something like that. Got 530 crit here. Could use AI. And then sort of force it into Warcraft. I don't know if you can change the voice in Warcraft 3, can you? You'd have to go into the game files or something. Probably couldn't do that. Oh, it fits. These wouldn't normally be here. So you've got this big chunky building right here. Normally the buildings are down here. So it blocks a little bit of my positions for ass assets. Have you seen the Biden one? There's this there's this guy that did some really good Biden ones. Um like Biden on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. 
He did it for Trump as well. I think he did it for Trump. I think the curious thing about Biden is the main complaint about him is he's too old, right? And he's kind of like losing his mind because of it. So if that was like four years ago, what's he going to be like for like the next term going forward four years? These assassin towers are paying off now. Well, Trump is bloody old as well, isn't he? Like, isn't he like a similar age to Biden or something? It's really just how to how you take care of your health and genetics. Like, Trump is... He might be an arsehole, but he's, like, coherent. And his brain is still firing. I mean, some people might argue on that one, but you know what I mean. Like... He can still very much make points and debate and stuff like that. Understand what he's actually talking about. I need to run for president. Yeah, why not? I'll give it a go. How much money do I need to run for president? You guys going to fund it, are you? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, Holly. See, you may as well just whack a few more of these um, cold towers just to make sure you always get in use out of them. I swear that said level 11 beforehand. Is it me or is that move to level 12? Because I'm going to flame strike these trees, but I'll wait until I go... Don't forget, you've actually got um, hero towers in this too. Although I'm not actually sure. I might actually skip the hero towers this time. Because I remember last time, I went hard on the hero towers. Just to make sure I use every ability and stuff like that. But I've got a feeling that these mass assassination towers just do a better job, probably. Although, to be fair, the hero towers are only like 75 gold. So it's only like 35 gold more. And you get all the effects. So I wouldn't have thought the assassin tower should really beat it. But there you are. Here we are. See, I'm slowing down one side. So the other side can get through quicker. So then you fight this side first, and then you fight that side that's delayed. That's using your brain. I think my Serpent Wars are freaking insane. I'm not sure I've seen a Bash proc yet from them, though. So the Bash might be a lie. The Splash might even be a lie, because I'm not really seeing too much Splash from those Serpent Wars. But heck, they do a lot of damage, so... And they're on like a 6 second cooldown. That's what I mean, I'm pretty sure the bash and the... Even the crit and the splash, it's all a lie. I don't trust it, I don't believe it. Oh, it's taken a while to level up. I'll just do some random flame strike up here. Next wave is Palabiak, R Wizard, Rifleman, and Enforcer. So, ready for the Palabiak. Then you can have the veteran Demon Hunters for some reason. They don't look very human. Then again, we fought against an Orc warship. I hope the aura is large enough to reach over there. I assume he uses to find shield if he gets to live long enough.
Level 11 to level 12. Are we going to do it? You son of a bitch. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Something you're doing? Spirits is around. I knew this day would come. Come, come. Just gonna max out my crippling and my my debuff auras, so they're basically gonna affect the mobs wherever they go for the most part. Ooh, I did it! And flame strike is bigger, not by much though. It's a bit stingy. I'm pretty sure in the other version the flame strike's a lot bigger than that. Well, this level looks a bit stacked, doesn't it? Suddenly, what's going on here? find a place for these towers. Well, at least I can fit that there. My assassination towers will take over the world. I can't see them, but I can appreciate them. I know they're doing some good work. May as well just put the cold towers on the top. More gold is required. City night or an Arsenal night. If it's football, I don't care. Looks like he's... Oh, yeah, the phase shifts. How's Frawl looking? Hmm, 265 damage. He's a strengthy boy. Don't even see him attacking anything. There's Cam. And he can enjoy it. He's got 800 range. Oh, do all the heroes get 800 range? Even the melee ones. Inventory is right. How can you not care about football? I don't. That's weird, isn't it? A little tower there. All summons arranged. Maybe the map maker wanted a bit more quality of life or something in this version. In this scuffed version. Another Erlodon. Oh, there's more of them. Oh my gosh. How will I be able to beat these? When they phase shift, they don't really go anywhere, though. So they've got to come back somehow.
Felt like time stopped for a moment there. I did see bash procs. So maybe that is the serpents. Yeah, true shot aura doesn't affect towers. I may as well just do the boost to damage and haste now on these ones so I can reach those towers. It should do anyway, but it looks like it didn't for this guy. So make sure it just goes the distance. Use the boost to get through. Who's next? It's Arthas. King Farian. Build elemental towers and purchase upgrade after upgrade towers cost more. Yeah, I think that was one of the exploits in this map is you get the level 1 version and then you build the upgrades later and then it doesn't cost you. But I can't remember if Blizzard TD got fixed or patched to make that not happen. So it's like retroactive or whatever. I do. I got on the... Oh yeah, this one doesn't... True. Now we got the boost to get through. Oh, Stephen. Oh, Arthas. No. He's getting bigger. Oh, shit. That's a nice effect, at least. You've already killed yours. There it is. He's down for the count. Flame strike, ahoy! I am one. So you can spread some more poisons and stuff. It's pretty dirt cheap. Hmm, that's fifteen. That's the same as the other one, isn't it? Six, six, fifteen, fifteen. But that one's for agility. Yeah. That increases damage. Adam's thrall is not as impressive as Legolas's thrall. It's not looking as big and beefy. Ken's just funny. <laughs> he moves with conviction. Well, invisible time. See this thrall in action. Three thousand seven hundred crits. That does seem quite strong. And he's attacking pretty damn quickly as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. He gets boosted. Use the boost to get through. These seem quite tanky. Wherever they are. Whatever they may be. Gonna go the distance. Got to stun lock them with my serpent wards. There we go. Sadly, I've run out of space for a lot of my uh, assassin towers. I can build the death towers, but I like my assassin towers. I like my assassin towers. I shouldn't be held back just because I like my assassination towers. Is this an assassination tower? It's got the same animation as those. Yes. Not even Gem of True Seeing can help me. You can not upgrade the Death Towers here. That's poison. That's cold. No longer built. So yeah, apart from getting the Hero Towers, which are not too fast to do in all honesty. They got 800 range this seven wars, that's nice. How dare you? Assassination towers for the win. The only downside is I can't upgrade him, so I'm running out of efficient space. Because the most efficient space is in the middle, obviously. I'm a work. I'm a work. One paladin down. Or the frost, that's pretty good. Hot key to select towers. Yeah, well that's I mean select all towers that exist. That's a very sort of odd thing that Warcraft we never intended to have, so that would have to be retrofitted somehow, and coded. But they won't do that because they want you to play Reforged graphics. That's what they want. You've got to rebel. I mean, you could buy times, but I've still got space. It comes down to the old flamey strike. I can put the uh, the death towers here because that's a fairly efficient place for them. Seeing as I, those are the other towers that you can actually see. They're smaller. Sadly, it doesn't quite fit very well. But if you do some death towers there. I can get another assassination tower that no I can't, sad. Oh, cheeky. 
Got some blinkers in chat. This looks like a tougher level, actually. Or you could do, like, mass assassination towers there. That's a pretty efficient place for it. It's just... It's a bit more at the end, so it's not quite so... Ex yeah, fuck it. Do it over here, then. The cold towers are so strong in this. You can see how slow they move. You probably don't need the poison tower. I don't think the, they move any slower if they've got cold and poison on them. I'm not 100% sure. It looks like he is moving slower, actually. I mean, if they do, then you definitely do want it. These awkward trees. I cannot summon there. We are enemies in hiding. Tazingo man. Use my power. Phoenixes rise. Ah, oh, you can see some of them have items. We're gonna get some goodies. These are probably going to be very easy. Big mobs tend to be. It's trash orb of fire here, so I'm going to get rid of that. I got 50 gold for that. Don't even need these mana stones, really. Plus 20, baby. Yeah. Not even sure if I need the Sobi mask. Right. This is all damage, basically. So I got plus 113. Has anyone actually bothered with the hero towers? I just felt like being lazy this time and not bothering. Otherwise, normally I get them. I don't see anyone else using them. Have you all been lazy as well? I'm not even bothered. Random's got one, apparently. I mean, it's 75 gold, right, isn't it? Because it's like 75 gold and one wood. So it's got to be worth it. Generally speaking, I'm not feeling like I need it that much. Oh, yeah. Haven't actually got any units in this because you got food count up to five. He's. Oh, it's hidden wherever it is. Who do I kill first? Ah, it can't be seen. Or well, if you can't see it, then yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> so that means you can't really. Oh no, you can select the hero though, so you can still use his abilities, right?
It's a good spot to put the next lot of Serpent Wards, stack them up so you get the potential bash if these are going to leak. This level is definitely much more challenging. I've got so many cold towers, but you still keep getting units that just pass through without being slowed. Kind of triggering me a little bit, to be honest. Unacceptable. No one should just be able to walk casually through my maze without being slowed down to like zero mile an hour. Beastmaster. Oh man, the paladins are moving in now. Six nine, nine, nine. It's a bit ambitious there, eight hundred range. see anyone moving cleanly. We should all be slowed. Got five Serpent Wards, so they do have Bash, and they're hitting like one target. They should basically perma-stun it, pretty much. Sounds like it says Mufasa. It's up to 463 damage, plus the 408. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Good of cunning up here. Some more big damage. Oh no, they're blinkers. Blinkers with mana shield as well. That's pretty sus. This is one of those rare moments where my audience would be wishing I was playing Reforged graphics so they can see these models. We want the Reforged graphics, they say. Give me more. Those that haven't fallen asleep yet, make sure to uh, like the video. Thank you for watching so far. Quite close to the end now. That will do. Let's drop that. Let's pick this up. This is only six, so sell that. Can you see the models afterwards? I suppose so, yeah. I could load up the um, reforged. Load up the old reforged. And just... Go over the mobs here. See if you can guess what they were. Because there's more invisible ones.
Hello. I want to see what my assassin towers look like. I guess these have got divine shield. Oh no, it's ethereal, right? Yeah. So magic damage is good first, as those. I think these are normally the Avatar of Vengeance model, isn't it? Like from the Warden. But not sure, actually. Assassin Tass, they're just footmen. They're just big footmen. health they have left. This is the death kill zone though. Death kill zone. Pretty sure that's an 80s movie. I think I killed him? Huzzah. And now it's King Valium. Vion. No, yo. Oh, he's bringing in the big boys. He's bringing in the lads. I don't think it's worth me selling those items right now. I'm a bit distracted. Ufa trying to make a break for it. Hey, you did it on your time. Maybe focus the Phoenix or something. Otherwise, he's going to soak up a lot of damage. Oh, God. I can't even kill the Phoenix that easily. And I can't use these towers to focus it, so fuck. I don't think I'm going to kill that in time. You're not going to kill that in time. It's a wasted little bunch of attacks. Oh, I did get it just about. There he is, King Varian. 100 armor, minus 6. Is this the ethereal one? Because that's the ethereal one. That will probably get through. There might be two ethereal ones. Yeah, the ethereal ones don't get like... You can't focus fire those because I can't target them. And I can't select my towers to target. <laughs> so I don't think you're going to stop those ones. Dagrin, on the other hand, might be able to stop him. Get them, boys. Chuck some water towers in for the lols of it. You should have, like, a divine shield that lasts for 45 seconds. Nice. There it is. I thought I recognized the minimap when I looked at the map. I was like, hold the line. The way it's described is like its own unique tower defense, but it's actually basically blizzard tower defense, except just manipulate a little bit, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because I haven't seen anyone else do that. So it's, it's always interesting to do blizzard tower defense again. And there it is. Thank you for watching. Okay. Let's load it up. 
Which Cardassian is your favorite? Who's your favorite Cardassian? None. <laughs> it's probably the right answer. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. I'm not done yet, sorry. I'll host up the map. See, this is a sort of... <laughs> if I still had this on YouTube, they'll just be like, what the fuck is he talking about? This is what you get if you watch at twitch.tv slash witty. Okay. Um... Reforge graphics on. Well, custom game or single player doesn't matter. Oh, hold up. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Custom game. Hold the line. We'll get the epic cinematic at the start. Every clan is responsible for his own territory. They could do a thematic solo survivor tower defense. Oh, you still can't see the units. They're still invisible. <laughs> Where it's like seven blade masters, but it's a tower defense, and every player has their own lane. So they don't really interact with the other players, but they have a different hero. They have like a different responsibility and different towers to defend with. Wow, it looks so different in Reforged. It's like on paper, some stuff from Reforged doesn't look that bad, but it's really the frame rate that gets me the most. If the frame rate wasn't so fucking dog shit. It really wouldn't... Like, if this was, like, a clean 200 FPS or something, it, you wouldn't really be able to complain about it so much. It's just the frame rate. I mean, obviously, the models look fucking nothing like the original models, so that's the other issue of it. But it's the frame rate that really gets me. The rest of it, I can kind of get past a little bit. You have to use your imagination, because these don't look like the Warcraft models at all. But it's alternatives. So... Just so I don't die, I'm just going to upgrade all of these towers. Whilst I look at these. Assassin Tower near the reef. Yeah, I can do the towers afterwards in a second. I'm just showing you this for now. Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure it's just like the reforged, or the classic version. Where the ones that are invisible are the ones that were invisible in those ones as well. Because, yeah, these are the levels we got to see, weren't they? Admiral Proudmore, remember? Halleck. That guy looks cool, doesn't he? He's like that guy from Game of Thrones had the eye patch and kept coming back to life. The Warden one looks pretty good, to be honest. Oh, Jesus. That paladin's so bad. Renegade Wizard looking kind of neat. War elementals are kind of funky, but also really interesting. That look. It looks like a Dota 2 character, really, doesn't it? Let's face it. There's the Demon Hunters. There's Arthas. Chadfus. Assassins. Blood Wizard. Dark Wizard. Sir Gregory. He could also pass as, um... What was the guy's name? Bugger. Warcraft 2 character. Yes. He's the footman. He was like my favourite character in it. Apart from, you know, Turalyon and the knights that go, For the king! Lothar? Not Lothar, not Lothar. Sylvanas. Antonidas. 
Dagger in the Orc Slayer, there he is. Old school paladin. And King Valiant, there he is. His hair's a bit weird here. Ooh. Ooh. Why would I do that, Adif? You're trying to get banned again, are you? There's more detail on her tits than there are on her face, to be honest. Hong Kong. Yes. Right, um, let's tech up then. Oh yeah, engineer. Expert engineer. There's Fro Gul'dan, Gromash, Fol'jin, and Cairn. So as you know them, which one? Gromash or Gul'dan? There's the basic engineer. That's the cold tower. Dagrak. Grom. And this guy, Ass Ass in Tower. It doesn't look anything impressive, actually. That's the Assassin Tower. This whole time. That's probably why it sounded like arrows were coming out of it. It's a weird looking orc. Is this a Reforged model? Is this a custom Reforged model? I don't remember seeing this model before. It's a very skinny... It's like if a human tower melded with an orc tower. Like an orc, a human engineer and an orc engineer got together to make a tower. Interesting. Look how big it's getting. Holy shit, it's, it's getting bigger. It's a grower, not a shower. Can we? Oh, yep. You can see the animation. It's just basically it is just an arrow. So, I guess it plays into the card of assassination, like a crossbow or you know assassin. You're shooting people down, like Skyrim assassin or something. Hero tower. Oh gosh. Summon of all tower. Basically, yeah, it's direct far. I can't even click it. Uh, how did you manage to use the hero tower? I can't click them. Oh, I need the hero can place them. Okay, well, let's get Grom then. So you can't go a no hero run then. You have to get a hero. Oh, there he is. He's looking greasy. Grom. Looking real greasy. Battle roar. 40 damage. That's terrible. <laughs> that does nothing. Volcano's pretty good though. That could stun. Although he's got to channel it. That's the problem. So he's not attacking. Oh my god, does he get Serpent Ward? Oh shit, he gets Serpent Ward as well. Except it's not quite the same, it bounces. It doesn't stun like the Serpent Ward did. It bounces. There's the Hero Tower. So that's like fan of knives and locust swarm and stuff like that. See, this is the problem. They start, they've got so much fucking detail on them, these models. It's got that kind of weird resolution that looks wrong. It doesn't look HD, but it's trying to be HD. That really throws me off as well. It's kind of like my eye. It's like Uncanny Valley or something. You can't fucking tell anything that's going on. They look cool in the sense of you're just looking at them as models. But they're not really, like, not for playing. It's just like, you have a statue of this in your room or something, maybe. Kaka! Get a mass damage tower. It's Rexar, the Beastmaster. Probably the better one, because he's got entangling roots. 
and Firebolt, which you can use against the Ethereal, if you could target them, but you couldn't target them because they're actually still Ethereal. I don't know, actually. No, 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 no. Dagrin the Orcslayer plus Ethereal units? Or is Dagrin Ethereal? Yeah, no, he wasn't. He was invisible, wasn't he? When we were playing this last time. So some models are still invisible, and then others aren't. Unless they're not invisible. Because each, at least one grid. Oh, no, never mind, they are. No, 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 no. Maybe they're not. No models are invisible. Yeah, I see now. It's just... This is one turn. Wave 14. That's one turn. Wave 15. But wave 14 includes him plus those. So, yeah, I see. I thought initially they were still had invis, but no. Because these last two levels were definitely invisible. But here you can see him. So that's what he would have looked like. Wee little baby death tower. Sweet Lord Baby Death Tower. Alright, you happy? We got satisfaction now? Also, that was weird, because I thought in the original, the icons didn't match, and they don't match here. Those aren't the same builders. But there you go. It is what it is, it be what it be, and it do what it do. Building under fortress, that was in Viz. What are you on about? What? What? Who's this random guy? What's he even talking about? Oh. It was. What the fuck? Ah. So it had the same model as the assassination tag. So it did have those green tree roots. And this is where you would actually build units. So you do have units in this. It's the bat riders and wind riders in this case. That's the human base. Look at that. There's some nice detail. I don't know why it's the Altar of Elders. Blacksmith. There's your Wind Rider. He's Bloodlust Boy. Or Frenzy himself. And then you got Aerial Shackles. With the Bat Rider. Alright, you guys happy? You satisfied now? You got your, uh, got your cathartic release? He's a big boy. Alright, there you go. That's the end of the video.